Okay, let's take a look at part B now. Okay, units of production method. We'll do this one in red, but it's very similar. For units of production method, you still need the cost of the asset and the residual, residual value of the asset. But instead of the life, you don't need the life anymore. You need the total number of units that you're saying the asset is going to perform or use in its life. Whether it was a photocopier, whether it was an oil pump that's going to pump a certain number of barrels, whether it's a, a machine in a factory that's going to make 10,000 widgets or 10 million widgets, doesn't matter. For vehicles, it's usually miles. Okay, so the formula for units of production method is very similar to straight line, except that over here we divide by total units, not the life of the asset in years like we did for straight line. Okay, so our annual depreciation cost or our depreciation expense here is going to be equal to the total cost minus the salvage or residual value divided by units, and then we have to multiply it by actually the number of units we're going to use that uh, period. Okay, so number of units. My writing may not be good here, but I hope this still helps you. Okay. So what we're going to do is the top of that fraction is still the same. The cost was still $118,000 minus $10,000. Salvage value didn't change. What's different here is the units. The units for this one were said 150,000 miles. So we just divide by 150. And I'll use thousands again. So really what this comes out to be here is we're going to get, actually, we're going to get that 108K divided by 150K. And so we're going to come up with a number here that is very unique. Okay, and what that means is we have to know what that number is because it's going to be an ugly decimal. Okay, and so when I go 108 divided by 150, okay, I get 0.72. The thousands don't even matter. I get 0.72. And what is this in? These were in dollars. This was in miles. So this is dollars per mile is what our units are in. You've got to remember that, dollars per mile. And now the next step of units of production is I take this number and I have to figure out how many miles did I drive that period. Oh, they had to give me this. It says 20,000. So I take that number, I multiply by 20,000, and there's your answer. Okay, if I go here, I extend the page, and it's going to go 72 cents a mile, or $0.72 times 20,000. And when I do the math here on my calculator, I simply get $14,400, okay? And be aware of your units here. This is dollars per mile times miles, so I get dollars. So here is my depreciation expense for the year 2004, okay? And that's how that works. There's my final answer, and if I go and check on the worksheet, okay, I do, in fact, find that 14,400 miles is one of my answers in the box in the answer field. Okay, hope that helps.